Ladies and gentlemen, Rods Hopkins. Hello. Unreal. Hello, everyone. How are you tonight? Yeah, 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 that's all right. Okay, shut up. Okay, so look, I receive a lot of email. I receive a crap load of email. I receive email with text, with images, but I love Man vs. Wild, and what I really want to see is Bear Grylls. Now, look, video is something we take completely for granted on the web because by this point, everything's developed, all the browsers get on well pretty, you know, it's, it's okay. When we design things, they turn out generally quite right. However, if you, for instance, have had any experience designing for, say, IE6, ooh, you'll realize that, yeah, it's pretty cruddy, and email is a bit like that too. You know, just things do not work out when you code HTML email a lot of the time. It's quite unpredictable. I guess the analogy here is it's a bit like Gary Coleman. You know, he's like, email has never quite come of age. It's kind of like peaked a bit too early, <laughs> I guess. Can we say that? Oh, oh, I know, we're hitting the punches here. Anyway, I guess, and one of the reasons for this is it's just a lack of standards, you know, just like these things here, they're cute, but they're all cats. Email clients are a bit like that too in that they all have their own interpretation of what an email client is. They all render email their own way. And with email, the, the overheads are just so low that nobody actually bothers to create devices that work really well with email. I mean, BlackBerry is an emailing device, but who has a BlackBerry here? It's, it should. Anyway, I didn't say that. But I think the, the other thing is that people just love the next new thing as well. You know, people want to want to share content in really curious ways. We want to use social networks and stuff. Email just kind of goes by the wayside. So in the grand scheme of things, designers, when we're asked, I mean, I used to be a designer, uh, when we're asked to code HTML email, we're like, oh, shit, you know? And it's, it's for the readers, it's like, oh, I don't want to receive more email. This stuff is not interactive. It's not fun. Well, okay, there are a whole bunch of people recently because of the news that have gone, oh, wow, Flash and media, fantastic. Why doesn't the iPad use Flash and blah, 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 and interactivity. Look, as in terms of embedding Flash and email, it's never going to happen. Security, no, nah, nah, it's not going to happen. So, I mean, we've decided we're going to go for this solution, which is to put animated GIFs in. But, I mean, that's so 95. <laughs> I love animated GIFs when they go like, you know, it's a mailbox, it's like that, and that kind of shit. That's fantastic. But, you know, not everybody has the same appreciation that I do. But, I mean, the fact is, everyone wants to share content in different formats. We want to have a great time. And email seems like the really intuitive way to do that. You hit send, you send your friend a video, and that's great. And, I mean, Gmail has caught wind of that, and they've gone, well, okay, let's release this feature, which only happened last week, where you can preview YouTube clips in the footer of your email. And I think that's totally awesome. We're heading in the right direction. But, I mean, ultimately, that's one email client. How many email clients are there? You probably use Apple Mail at home and blah, blah, blah. What we need is we need an ubiquitous solution. We need the tool for the job. We need to see Bear Grylls, and he has to live in our pocket. I think that's a totally cool thing. So, I mean, hey, who has an iPhone? Tell me, who has an iPhone here? Hands up, hands up, hands up. You fucking hipsters. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm a sponsor. I shouldn't say that. Anyway... I think it's going to become this ubiquitous device if it isn't already. And the iPad, it's also going to become this ubiquitous device. Everybody's going to have an iPad. It renders, it does video well, it handles email well, and that's really an exceptional thing. So what we want to do ultimately in the grand scheme of things is go, okay, everyone's got an iPad, everybody's got an iPhone, they both do email and they do video exceptionally well. Why don't we do something really wild and put video in email so Ross can see Bear Grylls. Wow. Well, actually, oops, that's a bit of a rendering thing. Um, we have the code. We can currently do that. This is called HTML5, friends. It's eventually going to become a big thing. Well, you know, you'll hear more about it, I'm sure, if you haven't already. We can do this. We can embed video. We want a whole bunch of other browsers to go, hmm, HTML5. And we want a whole bunch of other email clients to go, HTML5. You know what? I could embed Bear Grylls videos into my emails too, and that would be awesome. We are this close. The iPad is coming out this month. We are this close to you sending me Bear Grylls videos. 
That is a really, really beautiful thing. Will you do that for me? Will you do that for me? Yeah, you will. If you want to know more, check out our blog. We've got lots of resources about embedding video in email that you could be really interested in. Or get behind the email standards project because we should all be speaking the same language by now. Thank you, friends. Yay!